Climate change and conflicts around the world, especially in Ukraine, are threatening food security globally. But the problem is particularly difficult in Africa, where a record number of people are facing hunger. Now, DW's Blaise Eong met up with a businessman and farmer aiming to promote smart agriculture in the village of Dibombari in Cameroon. Ten years ago, Roland Fomunda returned to Cameroon from the U.S. to start greenhouse farming. It's a method of agriculture that remains new in Cameroon. Roland now has more than 100 greenhouse farms across the country. Year-round, he cultivates crops that are either scarce in the market or were traditionally available only in certain seasons. We grow based on what the market demands. We grow bell peppers because prior to us doing bell peppers, they were actually being imported. So we've actually been able to substitute the importation of bell peppers into the country. One of the things we've been able to do is to show to the Cameroonians that, listen, the things that are normally being imported or grown abroad could also be grown here. The Ukrainian war, thousands of kilometers away, has triggered a price hike for food in Cameroon, like the rest of the continent. Soaring food prices are making it hard for many families to afford a complete meal. The stems are good. You can carry on for... Roland thinks African farmers can learn from the crisis and better his agricultural output by changing how farming is done. With the Russian crisis, it is a curse and a blessing at the same time. And I believe that it actually reminds us of the need of, you know, industrialized or I say precision agriculture. And when you talk of precision agriculture, Greenhouse farming sits at the very core of that. In a bid to share his knowledge and contribute to food security across Cameroon, Roland is now offering classes to teach young people how to set up greenhouse farms like this. Tegum Sonita, 29, is currently among dozens of young people under Roland's year-long mentorship. She's been here for six months, learning all it takes to set up and run a greenhouse farm. Before coming here, I didn't have any clue. Maybe I had just the basic knowledge about farming, but I did not have the real knowledge about greenhouse. So I was just delighted when I saw it on Facebook. Roland harvests crops every week from his farms across Cameroon. This greenhouse alone has about 3,000 plants of cherry tomatoes and bell pepper. 160 kilograms of bell pepper is being harvested today. There are local traders already waiting for the produce. One of them is this supermarket in Douala. Roland is meeting with the manager this afternoon. The management prioritizes Roland's crops over their imported competitors. They buy bell pepper and tomatoes from him. There are many reasons why we work with local producers. First, it's because of the freshness of the crops. That's because the crops are grown nearby. The second reason is due to the cost. It's expensive to import these kinds of goods, so buying them locally provides an affordable option for our clients. Roland is pushing for sustainable and organic food cultivation. With water-saving techniques and efficient land use, his smart innovation could help in transforming Cameroon's agriculture forever. And my next guest, you and already saw in guest. that report, Roland Formundam and Sonita Fon. Welcome to the both of you to DW News Africa. Roland, you first. This is an innovative business model in many ways. Tell us about your vision for Greenhouse Ventures uh, and what you've achieved since you started in 2014. Our vision since inception uh, was being able to introduce a new model of agriculture, a model that we believe that would attract and retain the youth, a model that we believe would increase food production, and a model we believe that it would go a long way to stabilize market prices and go and actually make sure that we're able to uh, upgrade our methods of agriculture from moving from a first generation or traditional agriculture to a more modern or second generation agriculture. Agriculture has taken the vaccine in Africa for too long, and we believe that by making such uh, changes, we should be able to bring agriculture at the forefront of development. Another aspect is the fact that we've been able to uh, uh, find many ways to attract or make agriculture so sexy that many youths today feel part of being part of this agricultural revolution. Uh, for me personally, I think that it is a huge remark to our success 
uh, because for so long, the youth have not wanted to get involved in agriculture, and that is a big problem. Mm. Oh, yeah. so, so, Sunita, I'll come to you now, because you are one of those young people that Roland would be talking about. You have been learning the trade. You've been growing vegetables. How's it been going? Well, it has been a, an amazing experience, given the fact that when coming here, I had no idea what it was all about. But for the past six months that I've been here, I've had a great time because I'm learning every day and it is something worth, worth it. So I think it's, it's good. So Nita, what are your hopes for the future? Um, will you be working on a farm? Do, do you want to set up one of your own? What, tell us about what you want to do. Definitely, I want to set up one of my, for myself because, you know, agriculture is evolving every day. And as we are doing sustainable agriculture, we don't have a, a room for for weight. That's the production is continuous. So I really want to have one of my own in the future. Roland, training people to use uh, greenhouses is is a central part of your project. Can you just tell us a little bit more about that specifically? Um, today we are very very proud because one we are the first and only um, greenhouse training institution in the country. And of course, uh, with that, we've been able to attract so many youths onto our training platforms. Today, we've trained over a thousand of them. We have the likes of people like Sonita, uh, who came in as a student. Uh, today, she's actually a farm manager. And our goal is that someday, she can actually go on to mm. set up her own farm. And we all hope to have uh, engage them in a franchise system, wherein uh, we would guarantee uh, buybacks for any production that they do have. But we also continue to monitor and evaluate their progress to make sure that they are succeeding in the domain. Uh, Sunita, I want to come back to you because you talked a little bit about this, but how is uh, smart, uh, sustainable agriculture different uh, to some of the traditional practices in Cameroon? Well, the sustainable is different because the production is continuous. It is consistent. There is no season that we don't produce. But with the traditional agriculture, you know, without the rain, we can't produce. So there is that, that uh, stumbling block of climate change. But in the greenhouse, everything is continuous. Yeah, and uh, incredible stuff that you guys are doing out there in Cameroon. It's great to have you both in the program. So, uh, Sonita Fon and to Roland uh, Formandum, thank you so much for being on the program today. Appreciate it, guys. Thank you thank very you. much for having us.